Hello and welcome to a short forms vinyasa practice. We're going to go ahead and warm up standing with the feet even, open toes, long legs, long spine, having the core in a little bit, open chest, shoulders down, arms down, neck and head lengthened, breathing deep. Let's take a few shoulder rolls where we loop back, maybe move the head down a little bit as a contrast to that. Breathe. Do both directions. Very good. Next, we're going to drape the wrists as we lift the arms and then push through the palms as the arms come down. Painting the house. and then lift, weave the fingers together, push up through the palms, and then bend and extend a few times. Excellent, arms relax. We're gonna tap down the body, so start with the upper pec and shoulder, work down the arm, and do the inner and outer arm. Lift the arm to the ribs, and then rub the wrist. Do a little circle around the elbow, rub the shoulder, and switch sides. Work down the arm. This is a great thing to do in the morning if for just like a little quick warm up, a few joint rolls, and then a tap. <clears throat> do the ribs, rub the wrist. You need circulation of these joints, wrists, and elbows this is really good before doing chaturanga. We'll do the shoulder as well. And then we're going to tap down from the upper torso, down the legs. A little bend of the knees when you come down. Do the inner and outer legs. Backs of the legs. Bend the knees more as you come up. Do the glutes and the low back. Swing the arms slightly to get the mid back. You're also tapping the small ribs. You're doing this. That feels nice. And then trapezius, shoulder tip, upper back get further down the scapula area. Give yourself a pat on the back each side. Congratulations, you made it to a digital class. Don't forget to send money. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Okay, rub the hands together. All right. And then shake it out, let it go. <laughs> One more time, rubbing the hands together. And then let it go. All right. Have the feet parallel, stand at the top of the mat, take chair pose, a little bit of a chair. And if you feel good, lift the arms more, bend the knees more, whatever's working for you. Try the variation with the arms back, open the chest, keep weight in the heels, and then come back to extended arms. Next is downward dog. And we're gonna pedal the legs a little bit. What I'm doing right now is I have my fingers at the top of the mat, I'm using the mat to measure the evenness of my fingers. It's important to have even hands in downward dog, even feet as well, but the alignment of the neck is to look back and down so you can feel with the front of the mat the evenness of the hands, and that leads to evenness of the shoulders and upper back. Deep breath, we'll put the knees down, take a couple little baby push-ups, hug the arms in, Real strong hugging of the arms in helps to prepare for good alignment in Chaturanga. Okay, and then roll the back three times. We're still loosening up, lubricating the joints, getting ready for grander spinal movements. Transition to face down. Inhale, easy cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, 
half locust, exhale lower, inhale locust, exhale lower, inhale cobra, use the arms a little bit, exhale release, bring the hands low, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. And right leg high, light step, warrior one. And then either brace near the knee or touch near the heel and draw up. Do a few more rounds. And then hold. Hands down, back heel up, twist. Right hand down, left arm sweeps over, side angle. Warrior two, reverse warrior, back to side angle, sweep down. Sink deep into the lunge, lift the chest, maybe even lift up and hold the thigh. Vinyasa. Hugging the arms in, opening the chest, push back. Left leg high, left side. Warrior one. And four rounds or so of touching down, lifting, getting that flow going, energizing the legs. Very good, deep breath. Hands down, heel up, twist. Come on down. Back heel down, right arm over, side angle. Come on up to warrior two, reverse warrior, back to side angle. Runner's pose, back knee down, and option to lift, getting deeper into the hip flexor. Vinyasa. And knees down, come to neutral, and then knees lift just a little bit, loading calf. And then knees down, lower, reach back to the feet, inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Bring the hands a little lower, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, make it a long plank, and then stack the legs or do a kickstand or knee down, side plank, left arm up. See how my hips aren't too low? That helps me to lift out of the shoulder and then extend through that top arm. If you'd like, add a push-up. Other side. Deep breath. Hips stay up. You're lifting out of this bottom shoulder through the top arm, not sinking into the joint. And come on down. If you'd like, add a push-up. Use the core to come up, downward dog. And knees down. Let's try a little sitting position. Extend the arms. If you can't sit on the heels like this, sit in a way that's comfortable or you could be propped up. Otherwise, stretching and breathing.
Arms relax. Now we're going to try a kneeling arch. So we're going to lift. You can extend the arms. You could just be neutral, but if it feels good, arch a little bit. Don't put it too much in the low back. Try and open the chest and come down two more times. Extend. Very strengthening for the back. It's also opening up the muscles in the front of the body that's needed for deeper forms of back bends. So I'm going to put that to the test. Lowering the face down, take cobra, release, bring the hands low, up dog, down dog, inhale plank, exhale lower, transitioning for bow pose, holding the ankles, hugging the knees in, inhale lift, we're going to do two rounds. So the first round you can do lightly, lower, but keep holding the legs, catch your breath a little, maybe deepen your grip, and hug the knees in, inhale, lift, bow, second round. And exhale, lower. Place the hands alongside the chest. Use the core and lift. Hold plank. Put the knees down, elbows down, walk the legs way back and drop the hips, shoulder level, not too low but not too high, elbow plank. Two to three breaths. Very good. Stretching in the sphinx now. Breathing and lengthening. Sometimes it's nice to look one way, then the other. Or just be still. Point the toes. Feel free to stay in normal sphinx or bend the knees. Really work on pointing the ankles, developing the arch. Release the feet, and if you like, lengthen the arms. Very good. Come on down. Use the core and lift. Downward dog. And we're going to shift onto the back, so kneel down or you can jump through if you want. Legs come through. Scoot up so there's room. Take Navasana just briefly. High version, and then low, just hovering off the ground. And release all the way down. Bend the legs in. Keep the heels close to the glutes. Feet parallel. Inhale, bridge, and hold. And exhale, release. Catch your breath. If you want to do a rest pose, you can. Otherwise, one more time. Inhale, bridge, and hold. Come on down. Bring the feet together, knees open, butterfly. Take two more deep breaths.
knees lift, knees to chest, come on up and slowly make your way to a straddle position. Wide legs, forward bend. Good, release from the forward bend. Let's bring the legs closer and roll the femur a little bit. Do that a couple times on each side. Keep sitting tall. And we're gonna conclude practice with a comfortable seat, cross-legged or any alternative that works for you. Maybe sitting on cushions of some form, folded towels or blankets, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Folded towels or blankets work great. Arrange the arms, sit tall, close the eyes. Let's take about seven deep breaths, just enjoying smooth breathing, quiet time. Deepen the breath and come back to the body. Let's conclude with a clearing exhale and a round of ohms. So breathe in, hold it just for a little bit, let it all out, and then ohm. Stay. Hey everybody, if you like this content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and also there's a link in the description below for donations. Thank you so much.